Hello chess lovers, Soren here and in today's video we are going to take a quick look at a game where Vasily Smyslov finishes up his opponent with a brutal king hand. Smyslov's opponent is Hungarian chess player Tiber Florian and this game was played back in 1949 in Moscow. The future world chess champion opened up with d4 to which Florian answered with knight f6, c4 g6, knight c3 d5. Grunfeld defense is on the board. A very rich opening with lots of uh, sidelines and possibilities. This is the so called Russian variation. D takes c4, queen takes c4, black castled. e4, knight a6, bishop e2, c5, d5, e6, black keeps on undermining white center. And after an exchange on d5, white is getting an isolated post pawn. Queen a5. Well, uh, at the time this was a novelty. Bishop f5 and um, rook e8 are the most popular continuations. Okay, queen a5, a3, bishop f5, queen h4, rook f e8. The knight on the rim is deemed better was thinking of switching it into the game. If d6, then knight e6. Uh, rook e8, bishop h6. Well, now white is trying to get rid of black's Fianchetto bishop in order to weaken the king side. Knight g5 and knight takes c3. Well, this is a serious mistake, guys. And I'm shocked. Why not knight takes g5? Instead, Black decided to play knight takes c3 and allow this queen takes h7. I guess Florian was thinking that he can survive. He can just win a piece and... Just uh, remain unpunished. King takes g5. And now he's winning a piece, but this is losing. There came queen g7, with which Smyslov is taking under control the f6 square. And now is cutting all possible escaping routes. Black king is in danger. f4 is now coming. Black played rook e4, but anyways, f4 check. Rook takes f4, rook takes f4, king takes f4. Rook f1 check. Maybe queen g7 was the move which Florian missed, although it's not that difficult to see that move. King e3 check. Yeah, this king can't survive. Bishop c4. Uh, desperate queen a3 and after rook f2 check, Black resigned. There is a forced mate coming. Enough is enough after rook f2 check, black resigned. But once again, I'm very surprised the way Tiber Florian played. How could you go for knight takes c3 and allow queen takes h7? In the chess puzzle for you, the task is to win with the white pieces. As usual, we'll wait for your answer in the comment section. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in my next video. Take care.